Hi, this is Nancy at Notions, and today I want to talk to you about a really exciting new program from We Are. You remember their foil quill where you put the heated pen in any of your electronic um, writing machines like your Scan and Cut or your Cricut or your Silhouette? Well, now they have come out with five new variations on a theme and none of these need heat. There is the glitter quill pen which has a glue pen and then after the glue goes down you're able to sprinkle on any of the glitters. I also liked the glue pen. I just did my signature with it just freehand and then put some glitter over on top of that. Loved the effect that that gave. Then there's the etching pen and with the etching pen it's going to give you the look as if you put etching cream on it, but instead it is just a it's a scratchy motion I guess is what I would say on the plastic that they give you the fabric quill is going to be my all-time favorite these pens are absolutely marvelous and totally permanent I did some work on some washed it in cool water pressed it out and there was no bleed whatsoever really happy with the results on that then there is what they call the singe quill. So with the singe quill, you get a bold or a fine tip and you're writing on the wood. Then you're taking the We Are Memory Keepers new heat gun to singe it. Really, really cool effect you can get with that. And then last but not least is the bevel quill. And the bevel quill is going to deboss on the metal pieces that they give you. I've done a couple of different ones. And then I used an alcohol ink marker to color on some of those because it is a metal surface. So of course that always works great with the alcohol markers. We're going to come back and I'm going to show you some step by steps on some of these. The first new quill I want to tell you about is the singe quill. So as you can imagine, singe meaning it's going to be looking like it has been burned. And that's the idea. So with this kit, you get all of these wood pieces. So they're all a really smooth wood piece. I'm not sure what kind of wood it is for a lot of different applications. And then there are other ones for purchase. So this set has a lot of little circles and some smaller ones. And then this set has three of the larger sheet of pieces that you could use for a lot of different mixed media and scrapbooking and card type of things. So each kit will come with the four adapters that you would use, whether or not you're using your Cricut, Silhouette, brother or Sizzix electronic machine. I'm going to be using my brother so I'm going to choose the B and I'm going to choose the bold of the singe pins and it just sets down inside there so easy as can be and then I'm going to place it inside my holder and lock it in place. Now I'm going to choose a design so I'm put the circular um, piece of wood down so I'm going to pick a circular design uh, I, I found one earlier. There it is. I want to do this little guy. And I want to make it the size so my circle is about three inches. So I'm going to make it a little bit smaller than three. And I'm going to choose just the line drawing. So I could do it in different parts. If I were cutting out paper, I would do all the different parts. But I'm just going to do a line drawing of that sunflower. And then I'm going to set it. So with my scan and cut in order to set it, I want to find out where my piece of wood is. So now it's going to scan through and tell me where that piece of wood is so that I can set my design exactly where I want it to be. And you saw that I did put a piece, some tape on there to really make it hold in place. Now I can grab that design and position it right on top of that piece of wood. I can do a little bit more fine editing with the arrows, making sure that it's as centered as it can be. There we go. And so for these, this is a drawing. So I'm gonna select the draw. But I do wanna go into my toolbox a little bit and make sure my drawing pressure, I wanna add a little bit more pressure on that, but I do wanna keep my speed to slow and then I'm ready to start. And here it goes. Now when this is drawing, you will not see anything happening. The singe pen is putting down the design, but you don't really see it at all. You won't see it until we use the heat tool to activate whatever it is that's in that singe pen. Now 
All right, so it's all done drawing, and now I'm just gonna peel this up. So I did put the tape on there to help hold it in place because it is a larger piece than I would normally have. And now I'm gonna take the new Singe heat tool. So this is from We Are Memory Keepers also. And it gets very hot and it has a kind of a focus tunnel here that I found really worked quite nicely to heat this up. Once the piece of wood heats up, the design shows up faster. Make sure there's something underneath your project, like a craft mat, to protect your work surface. It's really up to you how dark you want the singe to be. The longer you heat it up, the darker it will get. So there you go. That is the singe design. You also could use some ink on this. This is a wood piece, so you, if you chose to, could do some coloring in. We've got a couple of more of the new quills to show you. The glue quill is the next I want to talk to you about. And this was really nice because the kit itself comes, of course, with all the adapters and two glue pens, but it comes with nice selection of glitters and two embossing powders. And I loved the effect that it gave me on this um, piece that I did. Now, I got to tell you about this piece. It took five minutes for that to draw, and I was worried that the glitter was not going to stick to the part of the design that had been put down in the beginning, but even after five minutes, it worked beautifully and the glitter really, really stuck. So I chose just a fun word design in my scan and cut. I have my glue pen in already, just like we did the singe pen, and so now it's just gonna start drawing. All of, the sin, all of the quill kits come with instructions telling you what pressure to put your pen at, um, what drawing speed. So I've chosen a drawing speed that's slow because I want to be sure that all of the glue or the pen, whichever one I'm working on, is drawing exactly the way that I want it to. And as it's drawing, you can see a little bit of a glue going down. It's, it's not really instant gratification. That doesn't come until you put the glitter or embossing powder down onto the glue. Now this design took three minutes to draw. And like I mentioned with the larger one, I was worried that the glue might dry beforehand, but it didn't. These are the um, design that the glitter and embossing powder comes in. There's a pour spout or a shaker spout, which was very, very nice. So I got the glitter where I wanted it to, not putting too much down. And generally speaking, we don't want too much glitter in the studio. Although in my case, I would think it'd be a fine idea. And then once you have it on, it's just a matter of shaking it around into place, knocking it off. And there's the design, all done with the glue. Now, all of the machines can do a fill also, so I want you to imagine if I had made that word and filled it all in with the glue and then the entire thing would be covered in glitter. I have one more quilt to talk to you about. I think the fabric quill is probably my favorite for obvious reasons because there's so many different things I can think of doing with this, especially in quilting. All quilts need to have a label saying who the quilt was made for and who made it and when they made it. And my handwriting is really bad. So with using the fabric quilt and my scan and cut, I'm able to write on the labels exactly what I want and make really, really creative decisions too. The kit itself comes with 12 permanent fabric markers. So those are these colors here and a bleach marker. So you could put the, use the bleach marker on a dark fabric and bleach will take out the color and a washable marker, which could be used for if you're doing needlepoint, it'll draw your design on and then you do your stitching and it will be able to come out. I wanna show you the fun kind of three or four step process that you can take it through with your electronic machine. So I wanna do this little boat 
on the fabric. I do want to recommend that you spray size your fabric to keep it nice and stiff first. So first I'm going to choose the outline of the boat and I'm going to do this in black. Now I'm going to set it onto my fabric. So with my scan a cut that means I want to scan what I have on the mat so I know where it is that I'm going to set it down. So now I know that I can take my boat and set it right on top of the fabric. And now it's set. Now it will draw the um, design. But with this, you do want to be sure that you take the pressure off. You don't want there to be much drawing pressure. Um, it moves the fabric too much if you do. And so I just took all the pressure off and it drew beautifully for me. Now what's fun with the fabric quill is you can really see the process going. So you're gonna be able to see the design as it shows up. And these pens are absolutely fabulous. They're a felt tip pen that marks really, really nicely on the fabric. And as I mentioned earlier, are totally permanent and washable. Now there is a set of 30 pens that is sold separately if you want a few more colors or if you do so much drawing that your pens are wearing out. There, the outline of my boat is done. So I wanna show you something. It skipped a little bit here and here, and that is because I did not spray size my fabric first. If I had spray sized my fabric to be a little stiffer, that wouldn't have happened. Now I'm not real worried about it because I'm just gonna take my pen and fill in those lines. Now we're gonna take one of the colored pens and do some of the coloring on the boat. So I'll take my red pen into position, and I'm going to go to the next part. So for this, let's say I'm going to do the big sail. Now I need to set it. So to know where to set it, I need to scan in the drawn design. Now, that's why I did the black line first, is then I know where my boat is, so now I'll know where to set the coloring. So now I can take this and put it right over top, and I can do some fine tune editing until I see that it's lined up just as perfectly as I can get it to go. So that's where I want to place it. And now I need to do a fill. I want it to color it in completely. So I've chosen the complete fill. And now you see that it's all filled in and that's what it's gonna draw. And I'm ready to start. So now the red pen is gonna go in and fill in that entire sail. And I'll take each part of the boat and do it that way, choosing what it is that I wanna fill in and then it will color it all in. Now I must admit, this does a perfect job. Everything is exactly where I want it to be, but I was tempted just to take my pen out and fill it in myself when it wasn't too, in, in, not that in, of an intricate design. If it were a very intricate design, I would definitely want my machine to do it. But for something like this, it might be just as well to take the pen out and do the coloring yourself. And there it is, the first sail is colored in and it is really perfect. The way that the pen goes across with the machine, there's no part of it that is darker than another part. So yes, you can do it freehand, but I gotta tell you, the way the machines make it work, it's really wonderful. So I'm gonna finish this up and then come back. 
So the boat is all about done. I've got a few more things to add to it. Do be sure that the dot, that the marker that you put down is dry before you put another one right next to it because it can do some bleeding. But if you dry it first, there won't be any bleeding on it at all. I will of course add to this the label, who made it and who it's for in the year that I made it. But I love this idea for making quilt labels with the new fabric quill from We Are. So there's five new quills for you to check out. I think that these are really gonna do well in all of your stores.